cross-legged position will do. And take your hands a little bit wider than your knees. That's usually a good place to start. Pull out on your strap like you're trying to tear it into so that your arms are relatively straight, but of course elbows not locked. Good. Plug your shoulders back, retract, and depress down. Good. So lifting from the magic button. Now imagine you had that block between your shoulder blades and you were trying to suction up it. So squeeze your arm with this. Good chance. That looks perfect. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Pause when you get here. As you exhale, just firm shoulders down and back in. Good. Good. So you're going to depress even more away from your ears. Good. Take a big breath. Exhale. We're just tipping right arm toward the earth, left arm straight up. Now, your left arm will want to come toward your ear. Try to keep a nice, even distance and tip from your waist. Good. Inhale back to center and exhale to the side. So opening up the serratus anterior and a little bit into the lats. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Pull out on your strap. Good. Depress your shoulders. Retract your shoulders. Inhale, center. Exhale, release forward. If that was super easy, bring your hands a little closer. Plug back and in. Inhale, straight up to the sky. Good. Keep your arms straight. Exhale, reach back. Pull out on your strap. Pause when you get to that sticking point. Firm your ribs in. Depress again. Good. And then keep going all the way down. Inhale, lift forward. Without jutting your head forward. Pause when you get to the sticking point. Plug your shoulders back and in. Good. And then reach up and over. Good. Try to keep the elbows straight. Let's take it again. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, reaching back. Pause at your sticking point. Draw the back of your head back. Shoulders down and in. Good on and then release. Squeezing through the rhomboid muscles. And again, inhale, lift. Pause at your sticking point. Plug down and in. Exhale, up and over. If this is easy, walk your hands closer. If it is too hard, let your elbows bend a little bit or walk your hands wider. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Good. Inhale, lift. Keep shoulders down and in. Head back. Exhale, release. Let that go. And just pause for a moment. Change the crossing of your legs. Reach your arms straight up to the sky. Plug your shoulders back and down. Good. Now imagine you have that block between your shoulder blades. Squeeze your rhomboids like you're trying to squeeze the block. Good. Peel your heart open as much as you can for right now. Good. Your gaze might lift, but it's lifting with your sternum. So wherever your sternum is shining is where your gaze will shine. Take one more breath. Straighten your arms. Good. Exhale, release. And let's come forward to all fours. <clears throat> From all fours, rise onto your fingertips like you have a tennis ball underneath each hand. Good. Start to crawl your hands forward about halfway toward the upper corners of your mat. When you get there, pause. You press your shoulders. Good. Wrap your biceps up. So strong external rotation. Without reaching your hands forward any farther, start to melt the center of your chest, that point where the block was, straight down toward the earth. So we're feeling for the magic button somewhere between T12 and C7. At the same time that you melt here through your chest, lift the undersides of your arms up away from the earth, good guys, and then firm lightly through the base of your rib cage and melt again. Plug shoulders back and in. One more time. Squeeze your rhomboid muscles and see if you can melt your heart even more. Good. And then inhale up to neutral. And as you exhale, tap your toes. Find plank pose just for a moment to measure for your downward facing dog. As you look back at your feet, make sure they are at least tips width distance. Spend a moment here as if you were taking a little back bend in your down dog. Shrug your shoulders away from your ears and melt from the center of your heart, squeezing your rhomboid muscles as if you're trying to hold an apple in between your shoulder blades, but not by drawing your shoulder blades themselves together. Instead, just by squeezing the muscles. Inhale, rise high on your toes. Exhale, take your heels over to the right like windshield wipers. Good. Pause. Come onto the ball. I'm um, sorry, lift onto the fingers of your left hand and walk your left hand forward. So it's getting a lot of length now in the left side body. What's happening with your right shoulder? Is it retracted, depressed, and externally rotated? Take one more breath. 
Inhale back to center. Exhale, heels over to the left. Good, guys. Crawl right fingertips forward. Plug left shoulder back and in. Lengthen through the right side body. One more breath. And then heels back to neutral. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Big breath in. And exhale, lower to your knees for a moment. Good. So just look at my mat. To demonstrate this option for down dog. So really focusing on what it is like to engage the rhomboid muscles energetically to melt the heart down, even in down dog. So I'm going to grab the outer corners of my mat and press back into down dog. And let my feet be a little bit wider than I normally would, just because my arms are also wide. So nice broad support. Plug my shoulders back and in, externally rotate my arms, and straighten without walking out. And then from here, I'm melting my heart in, 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 as much as I can, and then firming up through the belly, and then I'm doing it again, melting in, 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 much as I can, firming through the belly, and just seeing how much I can open through my chest in down dog. As you're ready, grab corners of your mat. Good. Lift your feet, find a nice down dog length, and step your feet a little bit wider than they normally would be. Yes, before you do anything else, Feel shoulders to press away from ears. Good. Feel biceps wrap forward. Arms coming as straight as they can without locking out. That's it. And then melt your heart. Squeeze your rhomboid muscles and melt your heart even more. Good, guys. Keep going. Feel the trapezius muscles alongside the neck. Soften and press down into the back. Good. Take a few more breaths. Just feeling what this is like. That looks great, Jenny. Jenny, really good, Jessica. few more breaths. Just really melting through center of the heart. Firm through your belly at the same time and staying lifted in the undersides of your arms like you're trying to pull your forearms up off the mat. Good. Then lower to your knees. Take a break. Maybe a child's pose. Do you guys feel that? Do you feel your rhomboids working? Mm -hmm. Hopefully. 